Hello everyone. In a world of endless options, what makes private property different? We think it's our passion and our purpose. Founded more than 22 years ago, private property was the first brand of its kind in South Africa. Today, we honor that pioneering spirit in everything we do. Everything we do starts with you, the consumer, in mind. Whether you are looking to buy, to rent, to invest, or just to plan, we want to be there every single step of the way. We believe the true enemy is complacency, which is why we inspire you every day to create your space to exactly your taste. With private property, you can find your next place. Your space, your rules, right? We created a property enthusiastic community and we all have one objective in mind, which is to inspire and speak power into your personal private property journey. We engage on the daily. We encourage each other. We believe in each other. We believe in the dreams and aspirations of every single one of our consumers. We host physical property shows, pre-COVID, and also virtual shows. We host monthly industry webinars with our real estate partners. And this year, we hosted the second annual Real Estate Industry Summit. We send out daily alerts that notify you of when properties matching your search criteria becomes available. And we also have three weekly newsletters. We publish over 50 articles monthly on our advice center. We were ecstatic to see our follower number exceed the 1 million mark earlier this year. The numbers are staggering, but when you think about it, what really makes us happy is getting to know you. We want to be that genie in your pocket. We are your sounding board. No question is discouraged. We respect each other. We treat each other with dignity. This is a community of enthusiastic, optimistic, mostly South African people who aspire to live well. Not tomorrow, but today. Our followers are like family. We care about them. We believe in their aspirations. For example, we know that Tashi Comps wants to own her own restaurant one day. And guess what? We believe that she will actually achieve that objective. We believe that she can achieve whatever she sets her sights on. It's the getting to know you that makes us stick and how we, in close partnership with the real estate industry, can show up to better serve you. This intent is our purpose. I'd like to welcome onto the stage the presenters of the Private Property Podcasts. First up, Ms. Zaman Tungwa Kumalu, presenter of the Private Property Podcast. Esti Klaassen, presenter of the First Time Home Buyer Show. <laughs> Next up, Mr. Chad Viveros. He's the host of the Home Shopper Show. And finally, Ms. Mbali Noku, and she's the host of the Farmers Podcast. I'd like to introduce you to, of course, the most important people that are part of the show today, our super fans at home. I'd like to welcome onto the stage Zaman Tungwa Kumalo.
Sun Manani Dumelang, good evening. And of course, welcome to a special edition of the last episode of Private Property Podcast. The Private Property Podcast with myself, Uzamantungwa Kumalo, is an engaging daily property podcast series dedicated to discussing all things property. We tackle issues relating to buying, selling, investing, managing, and so much more. Now, the podcast features guests from all sectors of the property industry who shared their tips and tricks and certainly inspired us to get started on our property investment journey. Our mission with this podcast is to equip the ordinary property investor with the skills, these tools, and certainly make sure that we set them up on their property journey and be able to take that to the next level. From its inception in the early days of lockdown to date, the podcast has grown from an experiential venture to an authoritative property information resource trusted by the real estate industry locally and internationally. We've covered topics such as home buying, building your property portfolio, how to successfully apply for a home loan, rental market trends, and so much more. As you know, we've recently celebrated our 400th episode milestone, and we couldn't have done this without you at home. Fun fact, that's over 10,000 minutes of property knowledge from experts and professionals across South Africa on all things property. And now, as we close off 2021, let's have a look at the year that was in our property journey. In 2022, we're looking forward to growing with you, continuing to equip you with the right tools in order for you to succeed on your property journey. And now for that moment many of us have been waiting for, we are of course very excited to bring to you the Private Property Year End Superfan Awards. And I'm sure many of you at home are probably waiting with bated breath to see if you might be one of our lucky winners. Now you know that we absolutely love giveaways on the Private Property Podcast and we're not going to end off the year without doing just that. Not only are we giving away awards, but you've couldn't, you can of course look forward to great vouchers and amazing prizes like we've done throughout the year. Now, one of the things that you all know is that we absolutely love doing giveaways here on the Private Property Podcast, and we're doing just that this evening on our year-end uh, Superfan Awards. Now, you can look forward to amazing prizes, great vouchers that we're going to make sure you get before the end of the year. And that's, of course, our festive gift to you at home. Now, one of the really great things that we value as a private property family is, of course, making sure that we build community. Every weekday at 7 p.m., we talk about making this property circle bigger and obviously also welcoming new members to the family. And that's exactly what we're hoping to do this evening, awarding some of those great family members. It's almost like that Christmas party, you know, after lunch, after everybody has you know, eaten and pussy and everybody's fine and you're opening up your Christmas presents and certainly sharing some great tales together. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing here this evening. Now, the first category this evening is one that I love talking about because you can also see it at home. And that's, of course, our super fan uh, category where we award the best fans that we've seen across our social media pages, particularly, of course, Facebook, because a lot of you certainly interact with us on our Facebook page. And these are the lucky winners. And I want, of course, as we always do every single weekday, for you to congratulate our lucky winners as they come on and as we award them right here on the screen. And the first winner of the Top Fans Award who is watching and one of our virtual fans is Uko Sotumelo from Durban in KwaZulu-Natal. We've got Usendi Stemet coming all the way from the Western Cape. Tsepo uh, Mukubudi from Joburg right here in Gauteng. Uh, 
Uzo Ramusale from Etendisa, also here in Kaugeng. And of course, we've got Anelda Everton, who loves sending us those green hearts, and we absolutely love it every single evening. Uh, and we've got Upolina Ngosi, who recently actually won one of our competitions that we've been running every single weekday. Uh, we've got Ubuhle Maduna coming all the way from the East Rand in Springs. Uh, Uklad Shirinda, who is right here with us, coming all the way from Pretoria. Thank you very much. And we've got uh, Fatima Simji, who is from Durban in KwaZulu Natal. She's also been one of the great winners of the great competition that we've running, that we've been running for the past few weeks. And another winner who's actually joined us right here virtually is Umenzi Butelezi, uh, always commenting there every single evening. We've also got Uvita MC Shabangu coming from south, um, from certainly from the south of Joburg in Devlin. We've got Tashi Combs um, coming through all the way from Edenville. And, you know, when we saw that uh, Tracy even quoted Tashi and some of her own ambitions. And that's what we love doing here. Certainly making sure that we keep up with each other's dreams and aspirations. We've also got Ukanzo Civils from Centurion. Um, and, of course, you can already see these are some of the names that you've heard either myself, Chad, Esti, or, of course, Umbali call out on their shows, especially the live shows. Uh, and these are some of the people who have commented quite a lot on the show. So one of the things that you can look forward to in 2022 is if you keep engaging us, sending those green hearts and showing us that love, you could perhaps stand a chance of also being recognized at our year-end awards. Well, we're nearly at the tail end of this category. Uh, the next winner, and I know that she had won as well in one of the competitions we are running, is Uspami. And I remember she didn't, they didn't raise their hand and we had a rollover, something that I know so many of you at home absolutely love. Uh, we've also got Umo Rosenzwane, who was watching us live and was able to claim her prize. And then we've also got Urnewa Hope from all the way in Limpopo, Etoya No. And the last winner who is actually here with us this evening, uh, winning that super fan top award goes to Uponzo Nsinye from Esoeto. Thank you very much. A round of applause to all our winners. Send those green hearts. Absolutely love it. And that is how we wrap up this first category of our top fans. And remember, we're going to be doing this every single year. We're going to be awarding you, our top fans, for showing us love, engaging with us, and, of course, keeping us company every single weekday at 7 or 8. And, of course, as you've seen, we've already started introducing other shows, so we certainly do want to see more of that love across our shows. <laughs> Good evening. As you know, I'm SD Class and the host of the First Time Home Buyer Show. The First Time Home Buyer Show shares the stories and true essence of a property journey of first time home buyers and even property moguls. Driven, motivated, and inspired was literally our anthem for the entire year. This thrilling podcast series features motivated, dynamic homeowners and potential buyers. These potential buyers take the audience through their real lived experiences. We seek to give an authentic insight on what it means to be a homeowner in South Africa today. How we do this? Well, we showcase the inspirational lives and personal journeys of these individuals.
on the note, we're talking about top loyal fans. The first time home buyer too has these amazing loyal fans. And of course, once again, a name that is no stranger. Martha is of course a top fan of the first time home buyer show. Another name, no stranger, also in the comment section on the show week after week. He's even been a guest on my show. That is Sammy Mahlazi. Well done. My name is Chad Rivera's host of the Private Property Home Shopper Show, and I'd like you to think of three words. Think extravagance, think of refined luxury, and think of opulence. These three words perfectly describe a show that shines a spotlight on some of South Africa's most grandeur homes and celebrates their uniqueness and variety, both in architecture and style. We have found and toured some of the most affluent areas and suburbs and discovered hidden treasures and gems within our favorite cities. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show, a show which gives you the opportunity to experience an exhilarating presentation and yet still sit back, relax, and comfortably indulge in all of these home's qualities. Over the course of 2021, we have been handed the keys to over 50 properties in South Africa. And I'd like to take this time to reflect and flash back to some of these incredible and gorgeous homes that we've all had the privilege of seeing. We have traveled from Hyde Park to Stain City and even touched down in the Mother City. Here's to touching down to more homes in more provinces with each and every one of you over the course of 2022. Cheers. And here I am back again, this time announcing my top loyal fans, or should I say the top loyal fans of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. First and foremost is a name you've heard before and you might even hear again, and that is this lovely lady right over here, Bongani Queen Bee Mabunda from Pretoria, but today sitting here front row with all of us. Thank you for being such a wonderful person to enjoy this year in function with. And number two is a name that uh, I've definitely seen interacting with us and coming on this journey with me, and I do appreciate him throughout, uh, throughout this whole year, and I'm looking forward to seeing where we go in 2022, and that is Kenneth Mochella from Johannesburg, Gauteng. <laughs> Kenneth. Thank you so much once again for interacting with all of us.
Good evening. My name is Mbali Nwoko, the host of the Private Property Farming Podcast. The Private Property Farming Podcast is an informative live stream podcast series where we discuss everything farming with the aim of equipping viewers with knowledge on what it means to be a farmer. We provide expert advice on how to get the most out of their farming ventures and how to inspire others to get involved in the South African farming industry. The Farming Podcast is currently made available to a private property fan base of over one million fans combined across all its social media pages. Consistently growing in popularity, the Farming Podcast is a reflection of private property's sense of community. Our recent collaboration with home growers is an extension of the fact where once a month we focus on a home gardening series. I've had the privilege to speak to a cannabis farmer, discuss healthy lifestyle matters, and learn about the winemaking process. Let's look at where we come from to where we are now. Here's to more green living and a fresh perspective in the new year. Fantastic. So it's always great to see and know that we've got super fans and loyal followers for the Private Property Farming Podcast. And I'm here to announce just those top three super fans that have been following the Farming Podcast. Um, it's great to know that all of you have green fingers. All of you are interested and concerned about food security, starting your own farms, your mini gardens, wherever you may be growing your food. And uh, the top three names are Joash Dosaya Farifal. <laughs> then we have Abed Abedain. And lastly, but not least, we have Michelle Volmerantz. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all you three for constantly supporting the Farming Podcast. And as always, continue to like, share, and subscribe, and also follow all the other podcasts that we have in the private property family. My name is Martina Happiness. 
I have a question that goes to Zama. Hi, Zama. Hi, Hibides. How are you? I'm good and yourself. I'm very good, thank you. My question is, I heard in one of, of your episodes that you, you were saying you started a property at a young age. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, the first time, how did you feel when you bought your own property? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that question. It's such a great uh, you know, question, and I talk about it on the show quite a bit. Uh, my first time home buying journey, I bought two properties. Uh, I was 26. I was buying myself two properties for my 27th birthday. And it was a very intimidating journey. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, there wasn't you know, as much information as we have now. Mm -hmm. There certainly wasn't a private property podcast. Mm -hmm. And I had to ask a lot of different questions from different people. And I think one of the struggles that I had was in as much as I had budgeted for all these different things, because Bengazi Guti, there are certain costs that are involved with home ownership. I realized that, uh, and many people who watch the show know the story, that I hadn't budgeted for all the attorneys. So because I was bonding two properties, I had to budget for four attorneys, not two. And, and so when the invoices started coming in, uh, by the time the third and the fourth invoice came in, I thought I was being scammed. So I think one of the great things was now that we do the show, we really do give people an opportunity to mm. have a good sense of what they can expect with their home buying journey, home selling journey, their rental journey, and when they're, of course, landlords. And I wish that I had this back then because I would have certainly <coughs> used some of the tips and tools that we often share on the show. Hello, everyone. My name is Glad Sherenda. I've got a question for Esti Klassen. My question to Esti, uh, you are now on the over 64 episode on the first time home buyers show. Uh, my question to you, how was it before and after? Thank you so much, Glad, and also thank you for being here. We really appreciate you. I think for me, uh, you know, being over, having over 60 episodes, we can see for ourselves that the show has made, ha had this tremendous jump. We started, you know, back on Zoom still similarly to how Zama is doing it now, and even just with production creativity. And I think the biggest thing for me is my confidence and my knowledge in property has grown so much that I can walk into a show tomorrow and just do it all. So soon, I can also say, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 400th episode <laughs> of the first time home buyer show. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, thank you so much you. for having me. Hi everyone, I am Ponton Senior and my question goes to you, Chad. So from the home shopper show, which house has stood out for you? Because I am so undecided. I am loving all the houses. Oh, no, I love it. I love seeing you in the comments as well. Mm -hmm. Some of the houses we've done have been incredible. And I think the biggest separator from these homes, because you see so many of them and so many are so, so expensive, mm -hmm. is the interior design. I think the interior design takes an incredible home and really elevates it into a house that you live in, that you, that you want to relax in and that you feel comfortable in, especially when they start getting just so large. Mm -hmm. So for me, it has to be the 13.5 million rand one in Bedford View. I think it was Senderwood. It was a four-bedroom, six-bathroom. Absolutely incredible. It had that pool outside with the rusted metal artwork. I know that this, the design was done by Stefan Rich and George de Hast. So shout out to them, guys. Get in touch with us. We'll hook you up. Um, but it was so nice. I really, really enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen that episode, jump onto that episode. But that, for me, 100% my favorite. Good evening, family. My name is Bongani Queen Bima Bunda, and I have a question from Bali. Bali, how has COVID-19 pandemic affected you as a South African black farmer? Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Bongani. Um, for me, uh, it definitely disrupted a lot of construction that we started doing at the farm. Um, I think two weeks before COVID, uh, well, two weeks before we went into lockdown, um, I was just starting to build on a brand new farm. Um, and so it disrupted a lot of the work and uh, that was quite difficult from a cash flow perspective to keep running because as you know farming is all about seasons and if you miss your season you have to wait for the following uh, year you know and so um, yeah I've had to just find ways to work around the different lockdown levels because certain suppliers only worked at different lockdown levels as well. Um, unfortunately, we did miss, miss our season, um, so I couldn't plant my peppers uh, as of um, 2020 in September. So I've literally lost um, 
12 months worth of cash flow, which I had budgeted for. Um, so that's how it's affected my business. Nonetheless, we're still here, and I'm happy to say we've started help harvesting in our 2021 season. Mm. Thank you. We're now at the tail end of our awards show here on the Private Property Podcast with myself, Uzamantungwa Kumalo, giving away the grand prize. Now, we all know every competition has different categories and, of course, the top prizes for their respective uh, social media platforms. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be announcing the lucky winners across our social media platforms. Now, we all know that we've gotten great engagement from you at home, and Tracy took us through some of the incredible stats and, of course, wouldn't have been able to to make that possible without you at home. And this evening, we want to recognize some of our top fans across each platform where you engage with us. We're going to start with our Twitter platform. And the first winner of the top prize is going to be from our Twitter account. And that is, of course, somebody who has engaged uh, us, certainly sent a lot of posts, uh, uses the different hashtags we have, whether it's your space, your rules, for your property, all your property needs, and the various show hashtags. This is somebody who has certainly gotten our attention on Twitter, and we want to recognize them this evening as the grand prize winner uh, from our social media page on Twitter. And the winner of that platform is Michelle Volmerantz, uh, who is all the way from PE. Congratulations to you, Michelle. Uh, walking away there with great prizes. We're going to slide into your DMs and, of course, certainly give away amazing cash prizes and amazing vouchers to our winners. Now, the second platform that we're going to focus on, uh, one of my favorite platforms, is Instagram. Uh, now, on Instagram, this is also somebody who watches us there, sends those hearts, and certainly engages and reshares and reposts the content that we put on uh, Instagram. And the winner of our Instagram top fan grand prize goes to Uzanele Porsche Nkosi, who's had over 200 comments to us. Congratulations to you, Uzanele. And the last platform, and of course I had to end it off with this one, because this is where we've now gotten over a million uh, likes on our Facebook page. We certainly ran a great campaign where we wanted you to get us to that huge milestone. And not only did we get there, but we certainly exceeded it. This is of course our Facebook page. And you, before I even say who the winner is, this person has had over 4,000 comments on our Facebook page. That is how dedicated they are. And this is throughout the year. Uh, they've certainly been commenting and sending all kinds of insight, whether it's greenhouse or certainly sharing uh, their bit on their property journey. And the lucky winner of the Facebook grand prize goes to Colleen Jensen. Colleen Jensen, congratulations. And thank you so much for those 4,103 posts. Absolutely absolutely impressive. Round of applause and of course those green hearts to our lucky winners at home. We absolutely love the love that you show us and hope that you're going to continue doing so in the new year. Well, as you've seen, we've certainly had an incredible awards ceremony, and this is what we're going to be doing, awarding you at home for being part of this community, and something that we do not take for granted. We absolutely love the love, and we're going to keep making the property circle bigger.
We have a quick little game for you. If you do, of course you do. We watch, we all watch the Home Shopper show. We see Chad travel in Zanzi. He's even been to Cape Town, as we know, because he can't stop talking about that. But Chad is also a dancer. If you haven't seen it on the Home Shopper show, check out the TikTok page, because that's where he does the best moves. So, Chad. Hi. I feel like I'll suck it into this. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to have to dance? And We're going to ask Chad to do a very popular dance that's going around recently, Ooh. currently. Chad, please get up. And what I want from the super fans at home and those who are with us today, all you need to do is vote. Can Chad dance? Can he pull it off? Or can he not? Green for yes and red for no. Yeah. So we're going to get the music going, everyone. Let's hype Come Chad on, up. Please. I did not vote no. <laughs> um, well done, Ch <laughs> Let's give Chad one more round of applause. I want to thank you for joining us tonight for our Superfans Award Ceremony. We did this virtually last year. This year we wanted to have a bit of a hybrid event. I hope next year we'll be able to do a full physical event and meet each and every one of you in person. Thank you for your loyal support. I want to thank Esti. I want to thank Mbali. I want to thank Zama and I want to thank Chad. I appreciate, we appreciate everything you do for us. We wish you and your loved ones a happy festive season, stay safe, and let's all meet back here in 2022. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. <laughs> I am so happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. And today is my birthday. This is such a lovely gift. I love it so much. Hi everyone, my name is Martina Maduleka. I'm from all the way Soshanguwe, Pretoria. I'm a student from university. I'm doing a BA in Information Science. The Super Fan Award was exciting, especially to meet the one of the hosts. I met Zawa. Ooh, the queen in the building. <laughs> and all of them, they are really nice. We are a big family. Okay, what I can say is that uh, I would like to advise everyone out there to follow private property. You're going to learn a lot because what we are learning on private property, some of the people have to pay to get the information that we are getting, getting and we're getting it for free. So I would advise each and every person to join the uh, private property podcast on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. You're going to learn a lot. To put you on the spot, who's your favorite host? Zama, of course, <laughs> yes, and Chad, you know, yeah, yeah, but don't tell him Chad is my, is actually my, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am Ponton Tinye, all the way from Soweto, I'm 22 years old, I'm still a student, haven't bought my first property yet, but it's coming speaking into the universe it's coming i normally watch on facebook when i am out of the house somewhere there on the streets but when i'm home my mother knows we watch on youtube we just turn that smart tv and watch on youtube